let's see how long it's going to take us to get ready for church. Welcome to the Speckled Cactus and Cosmetics. Happy Sunday. How is your day going? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I have to hurry up. Um, we have to get picked up for real. The school bus is what I call, you know, now our vehicle. It's a... Uh, it's in the shop, so we're, we're blessed and thankful enough to have some friends who are picking us up, but they ain't going to be happy with us if I do not get ready. So I'm going to go ahead and add some Little Good Foundation in with my BB cream, add a little bit of some moisture to our life and some sunscreen. Say hey if you're hopping on or if you catch this later, let me know how your day is going. Do you have to work? Did you get off today? Did you get everything done you wanted to for the weekend? How has school been? If it has started for you or for your kids? Does it look like my eyes are yellow to y'all? I feel like they are. Um, I'm about to turn this on. There we go. It's better lighting. Just say hey if you're hopping on. We're gonna be quick. I'm gonna use some BB cream. We're gonna put on some of my favorites today and the special for the crowns and pencils deal. You get any two eyeshadow um, pencil sticks you get or your choice of liquid shadow. You're gonna get your choice of a brow pencil and an eyeliner, your choice of lipstick, you're going to get the brand new Quadra Mascara, and you're going to get it all on sale, or you can mix and match what you choose. Any two items, 15% off. Any three eye product items, 20% off. All this month, and we're starting a new bundle tomorrow for Monday. You know, I was talking to my husband, and I was like, I don't understand why, but I get so crabby on Sundays, and it doesn't make any sense. Let me know if you guys can figure out or if you think that my husband's hypothesis is correct. But I said it doesn't make any sense to me. And it's so funny. Um, I told him, I'm like, when I'm at church, after church is done, I am exhausted and tired and ready to take a nap. And that's all I can think of until I get home. So I rush home, like not even kidding, to make the kids lunch and then just straight take a nap. Like they know like I'm serious about Sunday naps. And I said, it doesn't make sense to me why I need a nap so bad on Sundays because I don't even usually get tired by 11 o'clock on most days and I don't take naps at 11 o'clock on most days. Like, what's with that? And he said, I honestly think it's a psychological thing. I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, you've had like the sun, does anybody used to call it the Sunday scaries or the Sunday blues he, before you would have to go to work because you knew like you had so much going on and you're like white knuckling like the weekend as much as you can because you just don't want it to end and it felt like it went by too fast um or maybe that's like how summer felt for you I don't know but anyway he said like you had years where you had to do that and I remember how like you was to act on Sundays he said I think that you still psychologically are dealing with that because for years you had to do with that I said that is crazy if that's what the the reasoning is but I said it makes more sense than me just randomly being crabby on one day of the week so what do y'all think do you get that way do you guys enjoy Sunday naps do you get tired cranky or do you feel like you have to do a lot of stuff like for me I wouldn't necessarily take a nap before I had to work Okay, so that's what I do now, but like I just assume I guess when I'm cranky I need a nap, so maybe that's why, but when I uh would go to work on a full time basis like in Columbus, um I would ask Eric, I was like, Can you drive me around? I really like it when we go to new places and drive around, will you just drive me around for a little bit? And that's what he would do. Like he doesn't like doing that. He gets a little car sick sometimes too, and he doesn't like like carting me around like Miss Daisy, not because he doesn't care to, but necessarily because he just doesn't know where he wants to, he want, I want to go. And he doesn't like the uncertainty of it. Like, he's like, where should I go? I'm like, I don't know, anywhere. And he's just like, ah, it's too much pressure. Um, so we haven't done that in a very long time, like probably since, 
I don't know, like at least COVID or, or longer because like COVID we would drive around a lot because there was really nothing to do. So let me know, like maybe you can psychologically figure out if that was the case for me and why I have the weird like aggravation on Sundays. But I told like my church people, I'm like, I am so sorry. Like I get so cranky and that's all I can think of because I thought at first it might have had to do with that I had to sit still for a couple hours. Y'all know I don't really sit still that much or I'll fall asleep if y'all know me personally. And like I get so exhausted if I have to sit still. It's not even funny y'all. It is not even funny but I do. I get, <laughs> I get so exhausted if I have to sit still. Um, so that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's go ahead and do our eye pencils. I'm gonna do a little light shimmery color right here in the middle. If you need color recommendations or um, like names of anything I use, just say lookbook and I'll send you the details. But right now I'm just trying to keep an eye out outside and make sure that our ride's not just showing up and like hello where are you um i'm gonna use a little bit of some green since i have some green on with my liquid shadow i think i just kind of go with it as we're as we're speaking if you guys didn't see um the eyeshadow tips that i put on here the other day make sure you save that in your post for when you decide you want to play in it a little bit and follow some of those and if you need any live tutorials or videos let me know and i can demonstrate besides just saying it because i don't know about you but like i'm a visual person I was in a group the other day for homeschooling and um we sell like some of the materials that we no longer need to the other people so we can make some money and buy it towards new materials and um one of the ladies on there Ask. she's like I don't know but this is my first time homeschooling which is my first time too but I feel like I kind of have a good grasp and I'm prepared for it ours starts on the 28th um and she's like I don't really know but um how do you decide to schedule your homeschooling and I said well with this particular curriculum that we're talking about I said what's really cool is the website has a little scheduling feature that's free you can utilize that or I said you know for me, I just kind of played around with our lifestyle. I said, we do PE in our homeschooling and we're gonna be doing volunteering that we normally do and extracurriculars. I said, so it's gonna vary a little bit. I said, but you can have my PDF of my um, Excel spreadsheet I created just to kind of give me a sense of like how the day was broke down. Like I broke down my day all the way from like when we woke up to when we went to bed so like people people mainly meaning me and my kids knew like when dinner time was when we had to do our chores when school stopped when we could do have free time when we could have makeup time you know all of these things just because like i need that structure and that's one of the biggest like things that's going for me for homeschool this year is like structure with our house because i'm very unorganized y'all have heard me say again and again that um, I have ADHD so if I don't keep things organized or have kind of a structure all chaos happens and then we have like messes everywhere and then I start to feel stressed out and it's crazy I'm like I cannot make my triggers to my anxiety be me like I you know I can at least control that and that's the great thing like if you have anxiety and ADHD like like I do the great thing about it is some of the things that stress us out is ourselves and we can kind of control that we can't control others and what life throws at us but we can control what we do and so I'm like that's kind of a plus and a, a kind of a minus at the same time I guess so anyway I'm kind of talkative today because I have my coffee if you want a copy of the devotional, my quick devotional that I did for the day, let me know. I'm going to put it in the stories on this page. I already put it on my personal page. Um, I don't know what I just did, but I went crazy with this eyeliner, I told y'all. Eyeliner is still like a thing for me sometimes where 
it causes a little bit of some intimidation so I have to get my small little brushes out one of the things that um, I put in the comments about eyeshadow is knowing what your brushes do if you find the right brushes and get a invest in a good set of brushes um that don't shed a lot when you wash them it will help you to know like what you're supposed to smudge what you're supposed to blend out why this is too soft why this is too harsh all of the fun things all of the fun things all right let's go ahead and see what i got over here i need eyeshadow to kind of smudge up under my eyes so i think i'm gonna use my little stick pencil to do that I'm going to use, I don't know if we have time for an eyeliner, so I'll just hurry up with this. I'm going to do um, a simple lip today. We're going to use um, what I talked about, which is my favorite type of nude lip. So the colors we're using today <coughs> are well-to-do and moneyed. Grab yourself this combo. And you can have brown lips when you want, which look good with green and earthy colors. And then you'll have a nude that you can layer over all your lipsticks. And it gives you a nice laid back lip to go with your, um, with your look. Let's do mascara next because that's important to me. And then we can always add on our pocket palette. I'm going to do a special on that coming up. But, um, I like bringing my pocket palette with me to church. It gives me the blush, the highlight, the, um, contour all at once. And I just use my 4-in-1 brush. By the way, my 4-in-1 brush that has eyeshadow brush in it. It has a face brush. It has, um, a little highlighter brush. It has a lip brush. That is on sale right now on my last chance deals. It's like, I think over 50% off. If you want to grab that brush and you've had an eye on it for a while since it came out last year, um, all you got to do is say four in one brush and I will uh, send you the link to it on sale. Say hey. Do you guys think I uh, put this um, eyeliner too dark? I can't tell. And I can't tell if I should do a, a, a lighter eyeliner up underneath. Or if it looks okay, I can't, like, I'm kind of too close. And I don't have my mirror right next to me. I'm, like, using the camera for a mirror. So, if you come on here, make sure you get me before I go to church and tell me if I need to lighten up this eyeliner. I cannot tell right now. And the lighting's kind of crazy in here because it's been stormy. I think it's going to be sunny out. Thank you, Jesus. Because I am, like, sick and tired of the... Um, trampoline has been bent up like crazy every single day because it keeps being flipped from the storm so we had to pin it down our poor trampoline has been getting hate crimes from the dang weather I'm like done with it I'm done with it I'm done with the weather like I, my plants appreciate it. I get that, but I need like a break from the rain for a little while, okay? I told you that filling the naps is a real problem. And we are not going to be motivated in time for homeschool if it keeps raining like this. Because I feel like rain is like the perfect nap weather. So, there we go. Alright. Say hey. hey. Alright, look. Do we got this mascara? I mean, this eyeliner. All right. I need somebody to like be a friend. Like, you know, if you would check for a booger, like uh, your best friend's got a booger hanging out of their nose and you don't want them to go out there being embarrassed. I need y'all to tell me, does this eyeliner look smudgy? I need to fix it. If I do, I need a second opinion. I cannot see and I don't have my big mirror in front of me. So it's kind of hard to look like further out and see. All right. So there we go. We got our mascara on. I'm not going to primp it too much. I got to hurry up and go. I got to add my, um, where's my pocket palette? So go ahead and get ready. We're almost done anyways. I'm just going to add some setting spray. Okay, here's my pocket palette. It's falling apart. I'm going to show you guys how to fix stuff that is crumbling with my new makeup repair kit thing that I got in today. It's from 
moon mousse. I've never heard of that, but we're gonna use that to repair our pocket palette later because your girl's bad about crumbling things up. And I don't know how to fix it otherwise because I've tried different things and it's just not made me like happy the way it looks, you know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> Alright, so here's the four in one brush in case you guys forgot. So it's got the angle brush for the contour and the uh, bronzer. It's got the eyeshadow brush, a second eyeshadow angle brush where you can use for highlighter and then your lip brush. It goes really well with the pocket palette, which comes with four in one option too, which is the blush, the highlight, the uh, bronzer, and then the lip um, balm that comes with it. actually surprised that they haven't showed up yet y'all I got a brand new Bible I'm so excited to show y'all I'm going to show you guys in the stories today how cute it looks on the inside you can color it and I kind of had a Bible that was like that except it was just more illustrated it was already colored in this one you can color in for yourself and <laughs> I just love like being able to like color things for like therapy or whatever when I'm bored I like to doodle in my Bible so this gives me an opportunity to do that it is so cute. It's called the Inspire Bible. I got it from Amazon. Um, and it is adorable. And it has big enough writing where, like, I'm getting older and my eyesight's probably getting worse. It's got big enough writing. I don't feel like I'm squinting at the tiny, like, words. That's how you know you're getting old. Um, and so, <laughs> I'm really excited about that. It's kind of dorky, but... The only thing I wish is just like a little bit bigger to fit in my little Bible holder, but it works. It'll do what it needs to do. It'll do what it needs to do. I mean, but if that's all we have to do to complain about something, I guess we're pretty good, right? They didn't forget about me. <laughs> I hope my ride didn't forget about me. I don't think they did. They don't forget about my kids. And I said, um, as a result, they won't forget about me. That's, I guess, one good thing about having kids. When somebody loves your um, your kids, they won't forget about you either. I remember the first time I was pregnant with Madeline, she kept getting all the gifts. Like, for Christmas, my mom kept passing out the gifts and it had her name. And it was like, for Madeline, for Madeline. She wasn't even born yet, y'all. She was born on the 29th of December. She got more gifts than I did. I did not appreciate that that year because I was used to getting all the gifts. And see, I wasn't an only child, you know. My sister kept getting all the band posters and my favorite bands before I did. I don't know why. I guess because she asked for it after I asked for it. And maybe my mom was like, oh, I got to get her more stuff too. So she kept getting all my band stuff. I'm like, no, I asked for this. What the heck, mom? It's a classic older child feeling like they got left out. I say middle child syndrome's not an only thing. It's older child too. All right. I feel like this is a pretty good color. Um, the lip balm that goes with this, if you feel like you want a little bit more warmth to your lips, super cute. Let me show you. I'll show you all this. If I can get it open with my fingernails because I don't have any nails and I just clipped mine so it's like super hard. There we go. Look how cute that is. Okay. That's it. That is it, friends. My spray on. <laughs> so spotty. I was like coughing up a lung yesterday. Last night my husband was like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. I thought I was over this cough, but I guess I'm not. So I thought like I was choking to death. I was like, you know, people who have asthma attacks on, um, on the movies is misleading. Not everybody who has asthma has like where they're hyperventilating. Sometimes it's just literally you feel like you're choking on your own spit and then you just start wheezing. That's for me. They call it mine a seasonal allergy, but honestly, anytime I get a cold, it activates that asthma and I'm like hacking up along y'all. I'm not even playing. Um, all right, so I'm gonna bring my, all I'm gonna bring with me is my pocket palette to freshen up 
and my uh, lipstick. So if you're on the go and you don't want to bring a lot of makeup, but you do like to freshen up if you ever need to, this eyeshadow is going to stay on all day. Um, we have the earthy tones looking really cute today. Super quick. We finished everything, I think, in less than 30 minutes. So if you guys have any questions, just say lookbook. Um, today's the last day for this special, and then we're going into a new one tomorrow for Monday. Love y'all. Don't forget to stay sharp and always be on point.